Hey, I'm going to try to give you guys uh, a few ideas about uh, the siding. Um, I hope you've read through the processes on the uh, left uh, on telling you how to set this up. Um, just a few simple things as you look at this. If you will take your pencil and um, sight in, and by that I mean line up the top of your eraser or the tip of your point, depending on which end you're using. Be sure your arm is out full length as you're looking at something. This is obviously a couple of cylinders and maybe a jar of, oh, I don't know, salt or a pill bottle and a, some kind of a box in the back. Take your, and these could easily be paper towels and maybe a roll of toilet paper. Take your pencil, line it up wherever you choose. You want a basic unit. Uh, let's pretend that we're, well, I, I think it's done for us up here. Another thing you might want to do is click in up here on the click to enlarge part. Um, now, of course, you can't see it, but maybe, well, no, you can't see that either. Maybe I can move. Let's see. There. There we go. Uh, now you can see that the unit is the length of that box. So what this person would have done would have been to line that pencil up here, arm extended out straight, and your eye is looking at where the eraser is, and then you're going to put your thumbnail at the other end, say, and you're going to say, well, and of course this is pencils being held horizontally, well from here to this part on the pencil that I'm holding, I hope you're imagining this, uh, I'll call that one unit. So then I put in a one on that, that quick little drawing. I put in a one. Now then, once I have decided what my one unit is, I look at everything else with respect to that. So keeping my, my finger right on where that, that unit ends on the pencil, then I line my eraser up here, uh, and I notice that this is about half the distance that this was. So I label that a one-half. Now this is an excellent way to start getting ideas about sizes. That's what sighting is about. You're actually lining this up as you go along. Uh, let's see if I can find... Well, it won't be there. Maybe here. Yeah. This is one of the other... Uh, things that you'll be asked to cite on if you click those numbers. Uh, let's see if I can get us back to the drawing page and then maybe you can see. Um, anyway, you can see that this time the individuals decided that this candle here, this round shape, uh, the diameter or the height from the top to the bottom or one side to the other uh, is what we're calling a basic unit. And then by keeping their finger on just that part of their pencil, uh, they're able to say, well then this paper towel would be three times that. So one, two, three basic units, all right? Um, I always like to use a small basic unit, and then I don't have to deal with fractions, but, you know, whatever works for you is fine. Um, let's see if I can get us back to, well, didn't do it, sorry. Uh, let's see if I can get us back to maybe what that uh, drawing page was on. I'm going to have to click up here in my browser and see if I can find it. Uh, they're all examples, sorry. Um, I'll get back with you in a minute, but that basically is how you want to start out on this starting. I hope that helps, or this sighting. I hope that helps you some. Thanks very much.